Hey folks, welcome back to Manor Lords, and apparently a barren wilderness. Ah, there we are. So we finished last episode with a battle right over here. I think the tents were right where they're standing. We've got a rather tired troop of soldiers. Let's move you guys into the uh, into the trees over here and just let you rest for a little bit. We are at, toward the end of January. We haven't had a bandit camp show up for a while. So I have a feeling a third one, or really now a second one, will be showing up at some point soon. And I don't know where that's going to be. So rather than march them straight into that other troop, or that other bandit camp, let's give them a chance to rest. And let's explore what a medieval t village looks like when all the men are off to war. This place is like a ghost town. Look at this. It is empty. Let's pop into this mode. There we go. Got uh, a couple of folks walking around. Looks like she's carrying firewood. And our lone outhouse over here. <laughs> Got some market stalls up and running. How's the firewood market stall doing? Did that ever... Yeah, they... Oh, they built a second one. Interesting. So they added to the original one. But otherwise, quiet, cold, and empty. At least empty feeling. And uh, quite the uh, quite the music in the background. All right, how are our troops doing? So we have plenty of jobs queued up for the ladies to be working on. Am I going the right way? Pull out a little bit further. I think I missed him. Hello. Where are you guys? Okay. Let's pull out even further. I guess I gotta get out of this mode. There we are. Now where are... Oh, I see. None of the symbols showed up. So you guys are sitting over here. Fatigue now is at still 46%. Hasn't moved. That's interesting. Effectiveness is 32, so we're pretty rough, and we're not doing a lot of resting. That is strange. It's it's still saying 1% uphill, like we're kind of stuck. Let's move you guys. Let's see. Click and set you right there. See if that resets anything. There we go. 39% and 77% effectiveness. Okay, so we'll let that get up to... No, let's, let's drop down to 25% fatigue. Then we'll start uh, marching. It is this way, right? Yeah, right into here. These guys are already well rested. Probably feeding on the, uh, the berries that they stole from us last time. We did get back last time our firewood and our leather. Okay, home is... If that's the troops, home is this way. And let's kind of verify. Boy, I get turned around in this frozen landscape. There's home. Yeah, let's, let's verify that we've got lots going on over here. We had two manors we had queued up. Do we have any more timber? We have none. So we're waiting for the ladies to drag some more out of the forest. Actually, I don't know that answer. I don't know if they will go out and drop trees. Ostrov was like that too. The men had certain jobs, the ladies had certain jobs. So in the case of a of a logging family, I would imagine it was the men that dropped the trees. The ladies may tie them up and, and lead the, uh, the ox back, dragging it. But I don't think they went out and chopped. So is there a way of seeing any trees that are on the ground waiting to be brought in? I, I did see it once. I'm trying to think of what I was doing. I think it was setting. Let's grab a logging camp. Maybe it showed up underneath the blueprint. Oh, I know what it was. Oh, wealth gained. Let's take a look at that. Um, it was resetting their the sphere of influence. This highlighted the logs that were within that realm. But yeah, nothing's on the ground right now. Okay. Um, I don't know if by clicking that I lost their sphere of influence. So let's reset that, not go up too high this time. And 
we've cleared this out pretty good we don't want to get into the animals so let's just go for this area right here now what were all these messages um wealth gain so the same thing we gained last time we gained back again so that i think is a little little error in the game at the moment it's given us double returns i'll take it that's that's going to be great there and that means that the next battle we're not going to send the funds to the town Ooh, we're going to send the funds to our own treasury a bandit camp was sighted where are you oh you're kind of next door okay so we're going to send our guys around catch this and on the way home we're going to catch these guys and then head home and that should do a good job of rounding us out influence wise i didn't bring this up last time we gained 320 influence for that battle so three of those are what 960 we'll be uh, most of the way there to getting our second region all right you guys are doing what now you are at 97 98 percent effectiveness and your fatigue is in great shape so let's walk you it took a while to get that back down so i would say we're you know we could run you and then let you sit but that took a while let's turn my volume down a little bit music kind of comes and goes you guys are over here you guys clearly have the advantage where you are in fact i'm going to pause so i can think about things without losing too much more time so they're on the hill we would have to climb the hill to get to them otherwise we're in the woods in the woods we have a negative 10 to either effectiveness or morale when we're fighting so in the woods is not good at least not from their point of view they want to be out in the open let's bring ourselves to here uh try that again to here is a rally point get you guys at least closer and we'll figure out what to what to do after that you up and running there you go all right so they're going to get moving that way we are over here and have no more logs to build with so we're just kind of limited to the ladies assembling the uh the plots we've already got going the corpse pit was done we could assign somebody to move these bodies though i don't know that that's truly necessary corpse pit we can at least see it it's just a a uh, pretty uh unceremonial hole in the ground yeah traveler going by so no sense of him freaking out over this was it over here why are all the trees cut down over here that's interesting we have not logged this area so that's just part of the landscape isn't it yeah we've not been here yet we've only logged as far as here huh so corpse pits over there the battle you guys are over here doing some mining okay no you're building now any sense i started i can't click on you to get specific information where was the battle it's over here somewhere snow has kind of hidden everything yeah i'm not seeing evidence of it these bodies will remain for months we were actually over here weren't we Mining pit is completed. Yeah, I don't know where it was. I'm going to ignore it this time. The corpse pit is there for a pile of bodies laying out in town, which will affect everyone negatively. But I think we're fine now. Um, the mine is done. That one log was needed to build kind of a dock over here. Um... What would that be for? Interesting. I don't know that answer. Is, is it a roof? Is it something to walk out onto? In which case you've got... You can't get a cart out there. Don't know. Maybe it is some kind of a roof or a shelter. Could be. Anyway, how are our troops doing? We're over here now. On our way. These guys are over here. How close do we need to get to trigger them? Where do we want to fight this battle? This is a nice open area, but they would be downhill all the way to us, so that is not to our advantage. This is a lot further to walk, but this would be to our advantage right over here. It actually would. How are our guys doing? 
we've got 11% fatigue, 80% effectiveness, and I think we could gain that back quite quickly. Let's send you guys effectively to here. So right... There we go. Right like this. Right in there. Yeah. And that's something you need to resist doing as you get ready for the battle. They're on their way. You've got some fatigue buildup. Every time you go to reposition them again, well, let's let's do it over, now. Let's do it over here and keep moving them back and forth. They never get to rest. So, put them somewhere. Leave them. Let them rest. All right. So we've got quite a walk to do. You guys are heading. You were headed to here, so we haven't changed your course too much. I don't think we're going to there. I wonder if here is close enough to trigger them. It'd be nice to get them on their way without having to walk all the way over there and then walk all the way back. And there is quite a range, but that will uh, that will trigger them. I don't know if it's line of sight or just what the game uses to uh, to let them know. But this guy is uh, just kind of wandering aimlessly and hoping that he's not going to draw their attention. I wonder if it'll ever build into the game these guys kind of roaming around and looting. You know, attacking travelers, that sort of thing. That would be interesting. All right, so back home means over here. Let that slowly work its way through. And I don't hear a lot of music right now. Let me turn. There we go. I'm hearing mostly wind. So I've turned it up so I can hear the music. And now the music's going to start up and be uh, quite loud. Did we? We are almost. So we got to February. We were above above 80 percent i believe and we did get a family in let's look this over real close so we got those goods in bandit camp was sighted uh family came in and finished a mining pit okay um family came in so there is there are a couple of guys in here somewhere or there will be they'll be among the three over here so not all the men are out of town now so we're going to build these two. We could... I guess this is our new family. Look at that. And they're already up and running and constructing over here. So they're walking from that direction. Interesting. They would have come from here, I believe. Yeah, I think this was the last one that we built. Um, we've got the funds to upgrade now. But we don't have the building materials. So, for instance, if I wanted to put vegetables in here, what would that take? Vegetables would take 15... Actually, there's no building materials there. Okay, let's do that. Your vegetables, and let's pick some to be chickens. I'm thinking this area right in here would be great for chickens and goats. So chickens will give us eggs. Cost 25. We're at 308... Let's maintain at least a hundred. So let's put in a couple of chicken coops. You do. Right over there. We've still got to go through and construct it. And this is a great thing to do when we, the men aren't here to take trees down. So you will be chickens also. And it doesn't say there are any building materials. Whereas something like this, we've got to have five planks. And... Well, I'm surprised it's only five and ten gold. Or uh, coins. But planks are used to upgrade these guys. Okay, so a couple more chickens. And over here, the goats mean what? It gives us it gives us hides in the end, which gives us more leather. That's good. Now, I don't remember if there is leather involved in making any of the armor. It would be nice if there was. Maybe, oh, the, there were, there's shoes, if I remember right. Yes, and I think shoes are quite lucrative. So that must be the leather. All right. So we've done two chickens. Let's do a couple of goats. And you as well. We're still in the 200s. So goats cost 25. And I thought there were a couple of... There was a mining... No, that was already done. All right. So only one thing is finished. And that is this guy over here. No. Where am I? Both of these say they're still being built. Do that again. You're finished. Oh, you're already upgrading the chickens and the, and the and whatnot. Okay. So this one over here gets what? 
Um, let's go with eggs again. Let's do that. We're at 183. We need to check up on our troops. Easy to forget about them. And what are we doing? We are. We have triggered them. They're on their way. Okay. Effectiveness of 105. We are headed. One thing the game doesn't do that I wish it did. It doesn't do a good job of forecasting or, or letting you know what you had set. When you set the white circle of influence for the mining camp, or uh, the, uh, the logging camp, it would be nice to go back to it later and see that, you know, to remind yourself where you set it. Are we going to get to our place before they do? Let's tell you guys, it's going to be close. I need you guys to have a little chance to rest. Let's sit you over here. This is this is where your your goal is now. And that heading to there, they're going to arc their way in. We're going to get there first, and we're going to have a little bit of sitting time. It won't take much to get our effectiveness up. I have seen that uh, move quite quickly when we're not starting from such a low number. So fatigue's only at six percent right now, so it won't take long to to knock that off. We won't be climbing anymore. So fatigue is going to climb up because we're climbing, but they should be climbing as well. So their 104 should be in the 90s by the time they get here. They've been going downhill all this time, so we'll see just how this works. They are still walking like we are. We're at a full troop of 20. We're in good shape, though our effectiveness is dropping. Though I don't see the fatigue numbers have changed, nor the, the climbing. It's just, it's accumulating. That negative six is just chipping away at it. That must be what's going on. Noises, burgage plots are, are done. So they're they're adding all of the, uh, uh, the goats and chickens right now. And another family just moved in. Okay, good. And we will have one house left for the beginning of March. And then we are pretty much done with uh, new houses for a while till we get back there to uh, to do some chopping though I take that back let's let's do something preemptively here where's home <laughs> I'm lost we've got that one family with the two men in it now let's get them are you guys is it you let's see here pull out of this before I accidentally move my troops back over here again hate when I do that you guys people resting at home resting at home uh, where are the men is that you I believe that is you so waiting why are you all done we're still working on this one right and you are whom? I wonder if we have two different houses. You. Uh, click. There we go. People. Nobody in there. Who were the last two houses? Let's go back up the list. All right. The first house that moved in. Resources. New family. Ah, they're over here. Okay. So you guys. People. Right there constructing. I want you guys though you are quite a distance away, to be assigned to here. Um, hold off. Let's empty the logging camp first. There we go. You guys are out. You guys, people, assign you guys to the logging camp. Where am I? Right there. And let's do this other family as well. You guys are also assigned to the logging camp. Now we will have men running logging camp taking trees down while the others are at um, are at war that works out pretty good all right so they're coming in we are on the high ground they are coming from here they're trudging uphill the whole way that's about the most advantage that I think I can give us let's reposition one more time to right here aimed at them and let's just let you guys stand there and rest for a little bit. So, where are we at? Fatigue is at negative five. Climbing was there. There we go. We're already back to 113. Fatigue is dropping. Negative four. So, 
apparently this doesn't change in real time. I gotta pop back in and see change it. Oh, there it goes. It does. All right, you guys stand your ground, and how are you guys doing? We're down to 93% because they're climbing. We're going uphill. That is how you gain the advantage. There they go, full on run, which is going to take them down even further. Oh, the camera shakes. The world moves. Bandits just stole three of our hides. Ah, we'll get them back. Hopefully it's not these bandits. <laughs> the game just randomly allotted that. <laughs> All right, so 16 and 20 still. And I can see our effectiveness. We have the high ground, plus five. Though that didn't last too long. Our experience, plus 25. So we, uh, we're going to gain that in our morale. They're down to 11. We're still holding 20. Cohesion, 22. Fatigue. Looking at Army balance of power, plus 25. Because we clearly have the, uh, uh, the greater numbers. And they've given up. We gain more influence. They're trying to politely push through us so they can run away in a panic <laughs> and we still have a full regiment of 20 great all right let's go grab the goods over here and we'll send these to our own troop or our, our own treasury 640 influence now and we are still at a walk we'll leave it at a walk this time so we don't have to wait so long to, uh, to get to moving. And then we are off to these guys, and then we're home. Perfect. Now, have you guys uh, reported for work yet? You are here, and people, we are felling trees. Okay, we're back in business. Good to see. Logs will start coming in as soon as that happens. Yeah, we're not officially in yet. So once that happens, we will set up two more plots over here. I guess I've got a little bit of time to to figure that out. Um, just out of curiosity, can I, what would it take to get a bunch of singles in here? If I were to, and should I? Hmm. Should I go to the corner? I think so, though that makes for a rather interesting. Yeah. Don't know that I'm going to get what I want here. If I do this... I can't get two. If I do this, click out, click out, and I guess I have to force it. Yeah, it wants to, if I get rid of snap to roads, no, it does want to still do this. So if I just take that to there and lock it in, and then wrap it around. I got two points somewhere again. Let's start all over. Let's start over here. Here, let's try that, that. Okay, we can get three at this point. If I do that and then rotate you around, what do we get? We only get two. Darn, that's not the look that I wanted for the downtown. But I guess that's what I'm going to get. Okay. All right. I was hoping for some singles in here. Maybe we will get some singles out of here. Let's give this a try. Kind of killing time waiting for them to arrive. Now, do we want a road in between? Got to figure that out. Let's do that again. From here over. Can I get three in there? Why is it not willing to let me have three? Let's pull you out and take you to there. And straight. We'll do that. There's three. There's our singles. Okay. New message. Pause. Do this. When searching through the enemy belongings, you find a stash of goods. You could send them to your people, or you could keep it yourself. And I will do that this time. Sending 112 into our own treasury. And game pause. Pull out of all this. Treasury just gained 112. And be curious to see if we do that twice, like the town uh, funds did. But you guys should not be overly where am i at right over troops there they are wow i went the wrong way they should not be overly fatigued they're not let's get you immediately heading toward where that camp is over here they are also at the advantage unfortunately okay how best to pull this off we could hit them from anywhere we could march all the way back to here. We could. 
Yeah. And I want to show you something. Where are we? Right there. So we want to land where in the end? Over here. And I don't want to trigger them this time. I want a chance to sit there. Let's work up this valley. Meaning, let's tell them exactly how to get there. Are there any King's Roads at this point? Pull out of this mode. Oops. Pause. Uh, go there. Pull out. Okay. The roads are there. And they run up like this. The bandit camp is there. Let's follow the King's Road all the way into this area. So to do that, i got to pull back in. Or can I select you? I wonder if I can do it from here. I can't. This is just claiming. Okay. i got to get into this mode. Click you. Now, if you hold the... Boy, is it shift? Let's test this. Shift. Or is it just right click? Uh, I think it's control. Okay, so hold the control down. And click the right mouse button. And let's draw them from here through here. Let's see. Oh, let's do that again. There's the road. So you hold the control. Draw you through. Follow the road up like this. Travel the road like so. Where does it travel? It goes over to here. And we'll drop them into this valley. And that line you just saw. That's the pathway they will take. So you can direct them. Normally in, in other games you would just get um, control points. You could hold the, the control down and just click a few places and they would they would be lined into each of those places but this will allow you to actually draw their route and if I was more careful I could actually keep them on the road and make it feel just a little more realistic but they're going to work their way over into here and then we will position them directly into something like this and they'll just they'll just come right home afterward so we're going to gain a whole bunch of influence on this campaign and we still effectively have am I running I'm running the ability to keep the town going as it continues to grow so this is working out actually pretty well for us so where am I at I'm doing fine time wise okay it feels like I've been playing a lot longer than I have which is a good thing it feels like I've had some a good amount of time in the game that's that's one thing it's hard to do as a youtuber is to is to feel like you've you've uh, got your your time in enjoying the game in between episodes after a while you just feel like a oh, heck with this series i want to play but um any logs in yet oh we've got enough to get another one going okay so if i were to try to do a single over here i'm still frustrated that i can't get my single uh plots in so click away from you let's grab let's just hit h for house there we go so if i were to so when we were doing this before, we were getting a single out of two of these clicks. Are there different sizes? No, there's there, that may have been it. From there to there is definitely a single. Ah, the road killed part of it. I see. So, hmm. If I were to pull out of all this and drop a road, let's see that. Can I see that with the... No, the points go away. Where was that exactly? H. Alright, so we're there and we're there. If I put a road right here. So R, there to there. Click. Pull out. H, there to there. Now I can force it to do what I want. Although the back mess is up. It does. Okay, then let's cheese this a little bit more. You are going to go away. Um, right, actually, where's my alt? There's my alt. There we go. Remove you. And pull out H for house. Two, three. So four. If I put a road at this point, I might be able to force two houses in there. Okay, R. There to there. Let's see what happens now. Um, H. And if I were to grab just right there. And pull across the front. Go up and pull out a little bit so we can see. Now it is still fighting me. Going to have to draw this road all the way, aren't I? Okay. Let's try one more time. Trying to make it obey me. That's what I want. Okay. Set you. 
and we must have four logs now dead okay so that is set this road goes away I don't know well let's leave that for now it is a nice uh, shortcut over here it doesn't look odd it looks natural enough if we can find something else to go into there I wanted the market stalls in here because I need something to fill in this void but that would be a natural little marketplace. I'm curious just to see what it looks like. You're there. You're there. We're rolling into March. And we're not getting any. It's too small for it. Okay. Well, that answered that question. So March is here. Uh, we shouldn't see another bandit camp spring in for quite a while. So we should see another potential. Do we have a family in here yet? We do not. Good. So we're not behind the curve. We're still going to get two families a month. They should be able to clean these up, drag logs over, and, and get these built in time for the other families of this month. Yep, that's going to work fine. How are our troops doing? Is there another way to get to it? If I double click... Oh, that works. Good. You guys are marching nice and wide. I should have made you like single file, but I don't want to redo that, that route. But you're... You know, that is going to take longer. Let's redo that route. We effectively want to get to here. Let's just tell you guys to come over here and, and line up right there. That should... Something happened over there. Uh, family's moving in. That should change our orientation as they're walking. Yeah. Now, we don't have any fatigue going on. Let's run you for a while. Not long, but just to get a little distance in there. Maybe get 10% fatigue. We should be able to uh, recoup from that. and It'll get us a little more time, um, a little more distance, a little quicker. So we can get back to town and get back to building. We need to get the, uh, uh, the manor going so we can get our own personal retinue up and running. Then our retinue can do this job instead of our town folk get a full retinue of 12 going on then they're they're capable of taking down a bandit camp all on their own so there is our 10 percent fatigue we've jumped ahead a little bit you are you were a saw pit most likely which means we're making planks again yep she just did it great so we've got folks bringing in logs we've got folks hauling hauling logs around and we've got you pull out. We are waiting for logs to show up over here. So we do have the ability to get more oxen now. Oh, we do. And that's always valuable. Let's do that. Another ox over here. Order an ox. After placing the order, a livestock merchant will come to your town and deliver the animal. Orders can be placed once a month. So this is kind of a manual way of doing it until you get the... The livestock trading post up and going, in which case you can order larger quantities and they will bring them in that way. But this is good enough for what we're doing. We get an ox going over there. We'll get another ox going over here. This needs to be upgraded. I don't know that I really want to spend the planks, though. Where are we at on planks? Oh, we're 21. Hmm. Well, if I don't spend the planks, I can set the manor. Let's do that. Let's set the matter. Where are our troops? We're closer than I would have. No, no, we're heading for here. We're, we've got a long way to go. Yeah, we're just slowly making our way. How are we doing? We are fatigue of eight. We're losing the fatigue as we go. And we have a lot of downhill to go, right? Is that our, our path? It is. Let's run you guys up to more like 20% fatigue then get you going then let's go think about the manor all right so we've got a tremendous amount of downhill to go perfect and who are you um excuse me you guys i didn't see the message a another ruler's army has been sighted and did we get two 12 112s we did not so 112 went to the treasury and no other yeah you okay we're at the fourth we're at the fourth uh bandit camp so it doesn't 
I had assumed it was three on the map at one time would trigger them. But now, apparently it was just the fourth camp. Third camp? Third camp triggers them. They are headed through our lands to take this group out. Interesting. So they're competing, essentially. We will get there first. But they want those bandit camps, too. And they're going to trudge right through our town. Now, we're not officially enemies at this point. So that isn't a, a major issue. They're just a traveling troop moving through to somewhere else. And hopefully <laughs> buying our, our, our wares on their way. But now they, the game economy doesn't work that way. We are running. We're 35% fatigue. I need to slow us down. We're not going to have the resting time that I thought we were. Unfortunately. Bad guys are over here. We are aimed for here. No, we're aimed into there. Okay, we're aimed into there. And we need to get to essentially this point. Boy, now we've got a deadline. I have to see how this plays out. I want the influence. But I don't want to lose my people because we're too, we're too fatigued to cram that in at the last moment. Hmm. Now, there may be a way to cheese this if we wanted to. It's not realistic. I've noticed that as soon as they get back onto our own property, our own land, and unfortunately we're fighting in the woods if we use that to get into here, but as soon as they're back into here, you can disband them and they will slowly walk their way into town or if you suddenly re-rally them they will magically reappear in the houses running out of their houses i believe with full uh um, with their fatigue all taken care of fully rested and ready to go to war again skipping the time it takes to make this run so you could pull something like that if that doesn't uh, grate on your conscience but I think I will allow this to play out naturally. They're taking their time. They're fully effective. Basically, they're in the 90s. Though you are more heavily armored? Not really, just gambesons. So apparently archers fatigue a lot easier. Good to know. These guys have just got their clubs with them. And though, am I seeing shields? No, I'm not seeing shields. Okay, these are truly just archers. All right, they're about to enter our lands. They just did. We are right over here, moving our way in. Fatigue is at 33%, effectiveness 57. Not a great start, and we're going to be traveling uphill. So we will take you guys, hold the control going to take you up this valley here so travel like so up the valley and drop you into here to trigger these guys they're unfortunately going to run downhill the whole way to us there's not a lot we can do about that though i think they would be even more is there any advantage to going here instead pause the game Going here, going there. Distance-wise, I don't think it... It would have been an advantage if I had done it from here. Get them here, get them rested, let them run in. Yeah. Now it's about the same distance, so we'll just, we'll just hold the course. Okay. Let you guys go. You guys are heading through our town, which looks like... What? To see these... These troops suddenly appearing and marching through our lands. Hmm. That would be kind of an ominous sign, wouldn't it? See this banner on its way in. Hmm. What do our banners look like? I never even stopped to notice that. I roll my mouse so I can get over there like crazy. Our banner. We do not have a banner when we're marching. Okay. I think we have a banner when we are in actually in battle okay here's the corpse pit so we are traveling right up this way 
Okay, so in town we are doing what while we're waiting for all this? We have 10 timber ready. We need to think about setting a manor. We could get into here. I was going to replant. No, I wasn't going to replant this. I was going to build the town into here. So if we tavern here, we could manor right into here. We're not too close to these two. And that's kind of the high ground over here. Hmm. Kind of like that. These guys are here now. We're coming up. We'll be there long before them. I think we're fine. And they'll have a long walk back home. Um, now these... That's something to also to make a, make a point of. These are not the Baron's troops. We click out... Oh, I did it. I did the thing. I right-click to get out of that mode. So you guys are going to control... We're just going to... Actually, yeah, I'll draw it just to get you there. Well, I won't because I can't position. So I want you guys in a line of sight and some distance away so you get a little more time to rest. Let's just put you right in here and we will set you in a position just like that. You guys get into place. Now left click and turn that off. All right. So what I was about to say is the we have two enemies at the moment. We have this Baron who at the at this point has control over these two provinces. We also have the outlaws, which real soon, probably next winter, we're going to get a message saying they're on their way to uh, basically trash our town. But these are mercenaries. They're not his personal troops. He hired these guys, light mercenary archers and brigands, the Brotherhood of the Forest. We could also hire guys like this the battle brothers the green caps the ravenous vultures so we can also hire them if we have enough funds let's pull out of all of this um so these are not his troops his personal army marching through us he just hired them to go take out this bandit camp so to you know keep things into the proper perspective that's what's going on there now while we're waiting for everything to happen the manor build What's my timing now? We're, we're still good. Uh, manor is administration. You are right here. So it starts off as just a simple little building. And rotate you around. There's our front door. It's not much more than a house. A couple of families will live in here that will be... Oh, I don't know if you'd consider them our servants or our, you know, the folks that just kind of maintain the manor for us. So manor for the, for the, our, the liege. And exactly where we could force a little bit deeper into there. Is there another place? And when I first started playing this, I was thinking, okay, best to put this maybe right over here, you know, central to where our lands are going to be. But each of these will get their own manor. Each manor will then be able to tax and, and set policies and whatnot. Let's set you just kind of over here. Right on this little split of road, though, this road may go away. That's just a logging road at the moment. Actually, it is a logging road. It's convenient for these guys to go and get these logs. Let's head into town a little bit deeper. Yeah, something like that. Now, I don't think I'm going to be building a great big... Are we paused? I think we're effectively paused. A great big manor complex with walls that surround and all kinds of towers and all of that. I'm not, I'm not building a castle. I don't believe in this era there it would have been set up so much as that too. That's you know maybe the the castle in in London you know would have been significant, but uh, this is just a, a little fiefdom. So a a building, a couple of towers, some walls around. That's probably more than enough, and that's not going to happen for quite a while because it takes a lot of timber to do all of these things and. We want our, our supplies to be doing something else for quite some time. So we're just going to commit to the manor itself at this point and call that good. And Thank you very much. Now, we are getting into place. How bad off are we? Pull out of this. Grab you guys. We've got 30% fatigue. We're 60% effective. We're climbing. And that's going to chip away at us even though we're walking. We're getting into a position. Pull out of that. Into a position that's somewhere in this area. 
these guys are getting close, but we're still going to beat them to the uh, to the punch here. Oh, we've got a sphere of influence that shows up. So these guys can send arrows as far as there. Interesting. Now, at the moment, arrow archers are not very effective. A story that I've heard is that during the press preview of the game before it released on Steam, archers were a little bit too strong. I, I liked it. I, I enjoyed watching the battles. I think it was it was very believable that the archers could send a barrage of arrows in and you know you take an arrow to the arrow to the neck, you're down. I guess it should take those troops out. But in order to make it a little more fair, it was it was uh, uh, nerfed down to uh, uh, make them less powerful and it went too far. So now you can send a barrage of arrows and hardly do any damage to the uh, to the troops. And yeah, we've been sighting another army's another ruler's army for quite a while now, and so now the the archers are quite ineffective. But when the patch hits, it's supposed to balance that out quite well. You guys are over here. The army that triggers these guys is the army they're going to run out to, to battle. Though they can change their mind. I have seen them, if I, as I move my troops into different places, I have seen them change their target and go after another troop. So you could still steal the, the battle away from the other ruler's mercs if you do it just right. But we shouldn't have to worry about that. And that last noise was another burgage plot is done. So let's pause for a second. Can we still sneak in more? We can. They're working on that one. It may be a while before we get back here, so I want to make sure they've got plenty of work to be doing so that we're not, uh, we're not uh, losing ground over here at home. We are just about done over here. Let's pull the family out of there. We That's more than enough stone for what we need to do. In fact, that's... No, that's what's in storage. That's not what's committed. Storage... Yeah, 51. So this some that's been hauled back to store over here. Yeah, we have a family doing that. Do we... We're into March. We need to get a family into the forager. We do have a family here pulling in berries. Okay. And... Let's see, we are still making timber, we're still pulling in logs. We have another family available to pull logs in. Who was the last one that just moved in? Construction, family members settled in, you are there. People, you are constructing. Okay, you two are going to be running the logging camp. No, forestry needs the ability to do this. Let's think about that. Oh, not forestry, uh, woodcutters. So... Six months worth of fuel. Yeah, because I want to get farming going soon. You guys are going to be... Let's go back to that so I get the right house. So the last family that moved in, you guys are going to be working... Um, reassign you to here. There we go. You guys are going to be working over here. And you're going to be taking trees down. And you're going to be giving us the ability to set a field soon. All right. So the farmhouse also needs to get going. Okay. So let's get ahead. I've got... Let's hit house. I've got 13 logs. Let's get ahead by at least two more. Uh, no need for a space in here. I want this nice and tight. Okay. So you... Do I want a road in between? Let's go to here and down. And map ah, right there. Good enough. It doesn't show. It's too small. Let's do that again. You're there. There. Let's go to here. And over. And rotate. Three in there. That's perfect. That's going to take six logs. And if I put a road in, I have a feeling I'm going to lose this. Which means I can't have an artisan in here. So we're going to go with that. No road behind. We could maybe road up from this backyard over that would feel realistic these fences two of them may align to walk through but they're just going to be worthless at this point i guess okay set you and you're good and let's give them marching orders let's get you done at the highest you done at the next highest that should get us ahead of the curve for families. 
uh, for future families moving in. And then you take you up to high. Everything else will be pretty much um, running at medium. And the farmhouse. Would have been nice to have got fields going this year. I don't know if it's going to happen. We could still make it happen later in the year just to see it happen, but we won't get much of a uh, of a of a crop coming in. But out of curiosity, the farmhouse takes only three logs. Let's set you somewhere. You're in here. Hmm. Don't know that I really like it there. I like these houses f being able to, and future houses over here maybe, being able to uh, employ this thing if it was sitting over here. Let's try that. Do we like that? Let's get down here a little bit. Wish the trees weren't here. I think that works. Though if I went a little further over, it would be a little more central to any fields that I put across the King's Road over there. I think I like that better. So let's rotate you just a little bit further and set you right in there. All right. So you're in and you will remain a medium. Let's work on two houses in the manor at this point. All right. So rest of the episode, let's concentrate on war. Let's turn all of this off, which I use the right click to do, which is I'm in the habit of. But if I'm sitting right here and I do that, then they... They reposition. All right, so have we triggered anything yet? We have not. How much longer do we have? Where'd you guys go? Do they just give up? Um, I don't like that I can't see <laughs> an enemy's troops. Okay, pull out of you. What's going on here? Um, I can see our army. I can no longer see their army. I didn't see what happened in all that. Interesting. Maybe the game said, okay, we don't have a chance of getting there in time. Another ruler's army has taken them, and it just despawned them. I don't know. I expected them to still be working through the woods. And I'm a little concerned that they actually are. Ah, uh, what did I just pass over? Are those ours? Gandalf, those are ours. Okay, they're not here in the woods. Okay, they're not here. So we are here. We are resting. Let's pull us up directly. Fatigue at 21%. We'll give it a little more time. We'll go at them. They didn't sneak around us, did they? Where did they go? No, they're not here. I'm waiting for them to suddenly appear, meaning the game kind of lost them for a little bit, but behind the, the scenes, it's still tracking them. I don't want to lose this, but I do want to get my fatigue on. So, 19%. It's going to take a little while to do this. They're going to come downhill. They're going to be at their best advantage. Now, if I were to take us up into here, we would be at a better advantage. I didn't because that other troop was going to then overtake us. Let's do just that. Set you guys over here. Is that close enough to trigger them? It is closer than we are now. So we'll wait and see how that works. Otherwise, we are no longer gaining fatigue, but we're not losing it. Although we may be because we're climbing. We could be adding a little bit, but our effectiveness is going to be... Actually, it's increasing. Interesting. It was Now we are dropping. There we go. Okay. So we'll get into place. We'll rest a little bit. Then we'll be right back home again. Another... That's what I'm talking about. Uh-huh. Yep. So, in the woods, apparently it was blind to us, so we couldn't see it. That's what's going on. So we just have to get there before they do to get the credit. And the archer should suddenly appear, too. So that was a little sneaky. Uh-huh. So we are no longer climbing. We're no longer going uphill. Though, well, I guess effectively we are. Let's start moving in. I need to be sure that we are the ones that trigger them. So let's move in to about there and see if... Yep, they're on their way. Okay. Oops. Don't do that. Pause. 
All right, set you here. And I'm curious to see what happens at this point. They're going to take a while to get here. They're going to be there as well. Who are they going to be after? Um, they're 98% effective. We are less. Meaning they they hone in on or home in on the uh, on the ones that are the easiest ones to take down. But there's only 18 of them. Ah, they gave up, or they're regrouping with their archers. I've seen them do that before, but it sure looks like they've given up and they're going home. But I've seen that in battle. They will get most of the way there. And then they'll send in the archers and they'll back off. And then they'll turn around and come back again. So the game, the AI has various tactics built into it. Now it's possible that they're going to send archers into our battle, or bow, uh, arrows, and actually end up assisting us, even though we're going to get the credit. This will be an interesting experience here. Yeah. So and it'll be probably right around the one hour mark when we're done. So this should time out pretty good. We're coming in. We are standing our ground. We are no longer running. We have chipped away most of our fatigue. We're at 106%. They are not tracking us. Pause. Darn. They're going after them. Okay. So let's move in. We, if we go straight at them, we'll have to arc our way around as they continue so we're going to go position ourselves over here we're not running so we're not losing anything hopefully they will reset their sights oh come on dudes we've worked too hard for this no. and they're running all right set a run unfortunately and attack actually we'll send you well, I guess... Let me see if we can just get ahead of them. Like this. This is interesting. I don't know what's going to happen now. We're running. I didn't want to be. They're heading in. They're still heading in. We will... See, we may be taking some of their arrows now. There is that. In my drive to get that influence, I might be endangering us. Okay, they're running back. Their other troops are moving in. <laughs> Look at that tactic. That's interesting. It's going to be quite a clash here. We're going to set ourselves to there. And just keep coming at them. Right there. And attack. I don't know who's going to get it. I don't know who's actually battling who. But let's get this off. And assist our, our effectiveness at least a little bit. We're going to stay... Balanced? Let's stay stand your ground. Let's keep our defenses up. We are coming in at a huge disadvantage. 64%. They are at... They're at 43%. Let's go back to balanced. We're still at 20. We're still doing good. They're mostly concentrating on theirs. Though some of them have turned around. And coming at us. Let me get out of this... Mode... So I can spin the camera and not accidentally move our troops. I want to move around here and watch all of this. They have turned to fight some of us. Theirs are fighting some of them. Interesting. We're still at a solid 20. 13, 12, 11. We're dropping. They have nobody to fight. So they're over here. Rah, rah, rah. They're the cheerleaders. We've got one cheerleader over here. And 10. Let's grab ours again. And... Wait till 8, and then we will say push forward. Uh, 10. We got the influence. We got it. Now it's a race to go grab the gold. Pull away. There we go. And so we got it. They still have their 18. We still have our 20. Okay. The bandits were the losers, and we somehow pulled this off. Let's grab our guys and send them at a run into here before these guys can claim it where am I right here they have given up this group has they're running off where are the archers 
they're giving up too. They're all giving up. Okay. Archers are running... Uh, bandits are running that way. Did I not see somebody go this way? No, I guess that was just us. Okay. So, this is the center point between... Pause a second here. Curious what's going on. Our troops, some of them are running ahead. Right there. There. This is where it's calling the center of our troop. Does that mean we have somebody... These are the rest of our guys. They may have taken some injuries. And they're just sitting back here waiting. Or they're saying, heck with it. I'll let the youngins run up there. I'm not going to go run over there. I'm, I've just fought three battles. I'm exhausted. <laughs> These are the boys. These are the young ones. They're running their way in. All right. So we're going to also grab the funds for our own treasury there. We're doing fine over here. We're going to start trading next episode. And we will be gaining funds for the town that way. Whereas we need funds over here to increase our retinue. So that is 50 coins per. We're at 88% at home. Great. So grab this message. Tell them to send it to our own treasury. And you guys can effectively come home. You can run home. And I only want you to go to here. So grab you. You're going to go to there. Once we get to here, right there, at a run. Run. Okay. Once you get there, then we will disband you. And then I will go ahead and do the the, the cheese and re-rally you. Then disband you again. And you'll already be in town. And that works that works well enough for me for, for ending the war. That, that gets them back into operation here that much quicker. In town, what have we been doing? So we're working on this manor over here. We've got two or three more set over there. Manor. Burgage. And then we'll be working on the manor itself, which we've already brought some of the supplies over to. Good. This is going to take a while. Planks, they haul one person at a time. Stone, they, they are one plank at a time. This, they haul one basket of stone at a time. So there's 35 trips right there. For something like that, you want lots of families assigned so that lots of individual people can be making the trip, most of which will come from the saw pit. Storm's coming in. You can hear the wind. And we do have a lot of planks sitting over here. And a lot of it will come from the storehouse. And we do have a lot of stone sitting over here. Then it's probably time to get this guy upgraded, get the granary upgraded, and get those prepared for whatever we're about to grow into. We want to then get to work on trading next episode, but let's let these guys just get back into town so we can see that happen. Um, treasury game 163 this time. And we didn't get back our supplies that were stolen from us because we didn't send it to the town. We could have returned a lot of... What was it that was stolen? There were three yeah, three um, hides and there were, I don't know, 15 berries or so last time. Could have returned to us if we had sent it to our town instead of to our treasury. 90% influence. That is doing great. And it's a perfect set a setup for getting the manor up and running and starting to collect taxes. We will have this advantage which will be dropped significantly with a big old angry red hey you're taxing us but enough green there to uh, to counter that so that will be great all right troops are you in you're in let's tell you to disband and what i was explaining before there let's just go take a peek at them they are effectively walking whoa that camera let's find you again you're in here somewhere. You are... Or can I find you? Maybe I can, all I can do is get you nauseous. They're in here somewhere. But they're not home. If we were to grab you and rally right there, they would suddenly all appear out of their homes with their, their shields and their, uh, uh, their spears, and then we could say, nah, 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 just, just go back to, go back home. And they're here. 
they are already heading off to their jobs or doing what they want. So that is, for a while, that will probably go away with the update or some update soon, but that is a way to quickly get them back into society and, and ready to do what they need to do to get back to work. But with that, we've got another Burgage plot finish, maybe this one. Rain is starting, and I am going to call this one done. Thanks for watching, folks, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye now.